Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. iOS 18 developer beta 3 is out. In today's video, I'm going to talk about this and I will talk about that how you can install this version and should you install or not. First thing first, the update size is about 1.11 gigs as you can see. Now let's talk about how you can install this version. So if you're using iOS 18 already developer beta 2 or maybe 1, you can easily install by going into the settings, then to general, then go to software update. And over here you will see the update just like this one. I haven't updated this yet. I will update, we'll come back with another video by tomorrow. So for that video, make sure to subscribe the channel. Well, if you're not using iOS 18, uh, developer beta for now you are maybe on the iOS 17 or any other version and you want to come on the iOS 18 you need to go to beta updates and from here you need to select iOS 18 developer beta if you are not seeing this beta option you need to sign up for the beta program by going to the Apple beta program website well this is how you can install the version now talking about what is new as you can see it says iOS beta gives you an early preview of upcoming apps features and technologies please back up your iPhone before installing the beta for now i'm not sure what is new in this version because i just wanted to make a video talking about that should you install this or not and here it is now if i go to the uh, feedback application over here let me sign in okay over here if i go to the all over here and refresh it for now there are no release note for the ios um, 18 developer beta 2 as you can see they are release note of 17.6 beta 2 here are the release notes of um, okay okay here are the release notes of beta 2 of UNOS beta 2 TV 18 beta 2 iOS 18 beta 2 release notes but for now there are no iOS 18 developer beta 3 release notes for now so I'm waiting for those so I can get to know about what is new well talking about should you install if you're already on the 18 you must install this update it definitely gets better although iOS 18 beta 2 is slightly it is it is much better actually than the beta 1 beta 1 was not much stable if you if I show you the Geekbench score over here going to the CPU history this was the very first iOS 18 developer beta score 2259 on single core while 5425 on multi core while on the iOS 18 developer beta 2 the score was slightly I mean quite high 2298 on a single core while 5533 on a multi core this is much better which means that iOS 18 even it's just a beginning still it is getting much better it is getting a stable very quickly from the iOS 18 developer beta 1 the beta 2 is way much better in terms of battery in terms of performance in terms of heating issues everything on beta 2 was much better than the beta 1 so from that i am expecting that beta 3 will also be a better so for now i'm definitely going to install the ios 18 developer beta 3 and i will come back with another video talking about what is actually new in the ios 18 developer beta 3 so this was just a small simple video talking about that ios 18 developer beta 3 is out if you want to install it you can install it if you want to ignore it you can ignore it that is up to you but definitely i'm going to install it and i will come back with another video by tomorrow so that's it from this video see you in my next video until then take care peace out